Hi folks, today I wanted to do a review of the Ultra Gauge Blue, which is a uh, standard OBD2 diagnostic port module, and it has Bluetooth capabilities. I've been using it for uh, the last like three or four days after I set it up in my vehicle, I'll explain why, uh, and I love it. It's really uh, rock solid. Let's get into so it. About a year ago, um, I bought this uh, 2018 Subaru Crosstrek, the premium edition, and uh, it's been a great car, but the one, uh, the one thing that I really didn't think of when I purchased it and it's bothered me since is the very very limited information that the uh, the instrument cluster provides um, as far as engine parameters there's nothing up here to tell me what the temperature of the coolant is there's nothing to tell me um, what the battery voltage is and there's nothing to tell me what the oil temperature is those three things I I would like to have uh, have a, a capability of uh, of scanning those um, if I wanted to uh, there's a little bit more information up there I have the temperature and time and then the media center um, I use it for that, you know, for, for car play and whatnot. I don't want to be messing around. I don't think there's a capability in the current firmware to uh, get into engine parameters or display any of that stuff here. But um, regardless, uh, I have found that the, uh, the Ultra Gauge Blue is the solution to my, to my needs, which I will show you what I did. As far as the module itself and its associated software, which uh, I run on iOS, so I can attest only to the iOS version of their application, um, I found everything very, very intuitive, uh, from unboxing to uh, actually having it functioning in my car, uh, the app and, and uh, gauges set up and, and, you know, things selected. It was probably like five minutes, um, I would say, or, or even less. So I'm not going to get into all that. What I do want to quickly mention, however, is if you can see there, there's a little red button at the top left. And what that's used for is the initial pairing, the initial Bluetooth pairing with your device. The module itself has no power. Uh, to it until it's plugged into the bus. It gets its, its power from the diagnostic bus in your vehicle. And if you were to get this thing out of the box and start pressing that little red button ex expecting something to happen, um, it's not going to. Uh, but trust me, your, uh, your module is fine. Okay folks, I'm back in the car. Uh, I have the, uh, the module is plugged in to the diagnostic port which is uh, just above my left foot. And I have my phone uh, set up in the cradle. I have the app running. Um, it's not being fed right now, but uh, just to show you really quickly, um, the colors you can mess with. Uh, I have both day and night colors set up. Uh, I can show you that really quickly. Um, if you just swipe across, uh, there's my night setup. It's the same gauges. It might be easier to see actually right now. Um, you can see the ones I was interested in uh, on the top right, coolant and oil uh, temperatures. Those ones were the ones I was really primarily interested in. Um, so I filled it up to make a full six pack. I did speed the battery voltage. The UG temp is the temperature of the module itself, which tends to run around 77, 78 degrees. Um, you can set alarms for all of these, uh, these gauges, um, minimum, maximums, um, temperatures, pressures, whatever. For the uh, UG temp, I believe I have it set for 100 degrees. It will fire off the alarm. I have my coolant set for uh, like 220. It will fire off the alarm. I think default was like 250 or something, but it seems to run um, consistently between like 197 and 203 so and then the ambient air temperature um, I do have a readout when the car is running just under it we saw earlier but um, hey why not just add that so that's my gauges so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start the car um, everything has been paired uh, before once you go through the initial setup and you set your vehicle as the primary vehicle as soon as you start it it will it will link um, I don't know how it works with Android but I know for iOS it seems to link fairly well I have all the latest software at this date um, on my phone if there's any questions about that. So Apple sorted the Bluetooth uh, connection issues out with the latest version, at least in my case, um, in my experience. So I'm going to go ahead and start the car and let's see what happens. So there's the temperature there. So it takes a few seconds um, for the Bluetooth to connect it to uh, actually talk to the app, but it will connect um, and then, uh, you know, it's about enough time to let the thing Kind of idle in your driveway a little bit and uh, build up some oil pressure. Like I said, I'm not going to get into all the configuration stuff um, of the application and uh, plugging it in. I just found it so, so intuitive. And on their website, um, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, there we go, Bluetooth connection enabled. But I'll put a link in the description and uh, you, there's tons of tutorial videos. Um, there's tons of, uh, of text uh, tutorials. Um, so there's a ton of stuff. And there you go, it came alive. Uh, battery voltage is at 14. Coolant temp, I had it running before. 
Um, I had to take it, I was uh, out and about, so it's at 172, oil temp 162. The UG temp, like I said, 77, and then the ambient air is 57. It's showing 44 down there, but that's, who knows what that is. It's probably because the car's been sitting, um, so that where it's picking up the uh, ambient air without run, without going through, uh, you know, driving, it's, uh, it's warm air. So, But those temperatures normally sync up. It's normally within a degree or whatever of the, uh, the lower value. So because it's been sitting running, that's what that's all about. That's not an error. But there you go. I mean, that's how easy it is when you drive. Uh, you can look at the real-time fluctuations of anything. It just really is a, a handy thing because, again, I have no information down here at all except for that MPG, uh, the fuel uh, thing, and I don't know. I don't really ever use that for anything. It certainly doesn't dictate how I drive. Um, but, you know, these things, these little trends, um, and, you know, down here there are very likely some you know, warning lights that would come on. I think there was a whole cluster of them up there where the seatbelt light is uh, flashing that would come on. And it would tell me if my coolant temp and whatever else. But I think that probably by the time it got to that point where I started having lights come on here, tell me I had problems, um, I could have seen that here. And the alarms that I set up, the very conservative alarms on temperatures and things like that would have, uh, would have triggered uh, before it got to the point where it was uh, showing up down in the clusters. A very good question that I've seen asked on the automotive forums is can you leave the ultra gauge blue plugged in long term when the vehicle is unattended? And I'm going to tell you the answer to that is yes and no. Uh, you can see a picture here of mine. It's plugged in. The vehicle is turned off. The key is out. I'm ready to leave the vehicle at that point. And this is what you see. Uh, two things that it's not doing right now. It is not trying to communicate with the Bluetooth uh, via Bluetooth. And it is not trying to communicate with the uh, vehicle's diagnostic bus. So those two functions uh, that draw probably the most, well, do draw the most power, are no, are no longer occurring. Uh, you can see, however, that there are two little LED lights that remain illuminated. Now, I did look on their website to see if they published any data involving what sort of uh, parasitic electrical drain uh, this can cause. Um, I did not find any numbers, but I'm going to guess if you have a healthy battery, you can leave this thing plugged in long term. And I, what I mean by that is weeks and weeks and weeks. Uh, if you go to the airport, you park in the long term lot. I would suggest pulling it out and throwing it in the glove box, but uh, it's plug and play. It works very well. Anyway, that's it, man. The Ultra Gauge uh, Blue. Uh, it really uh, is a pretty sweet little little device, and it and it uh, seems bulletproof, and it it works as advertised.